much. Well, in South Carolina, recent data shows that nearly 4,000 people are homeless. The Salvation Army works to lower that number by offering groceries and financial help, but the desperate need right now is clothes. 7 News' Tatiana Cash is live in Spartanburg with that story. Good morning, Tatiana. Good morning to you. That's right. So we are at a big need. That's what Lieutenant Howard Tate tells me. Lieutenant, how are you this morning? I am doing well. How are you? I, you know, it's early, but I'll get over it. It is. <laughs> it is indeed. So we're here in the back of the warehouse. Kind of tell me what exactly is behind us. I'm noticing there's clothes. That's exactly right. We have about a 25,000 square foot warehouse that we use to service all of Spartanburg and Union counties. So um, when we say clothing drive, you would think, well, look at that giant pile. Is that do you really need more? Yes, absolutely. That would service us for about two days. We send out roughly 2,600 pieces of clothing a day to hit our family stores, which help us serve our community. So what exactly are you looking for? Is any piece of clothing a bad piece of clothing? No. No piece of clothing is a bad piece of clothing. Any clothes can be used, whether it goes through our baler or being individualized and hits the sales floor. Any clothing can be used to help the Salvation Army. So what exactly are you looking for right now when it comes to clothing? What are you in big desperate need of? The biggest need is that summertime. The shorts, t-shirts, swimming apparel, that's what everyone's looking for and that is our biggest need. So sometimes people would say maybe, uh, well, the Salvation Army is such a big organization, they should be able to take care of this themselves. But why is it we're asking the community for help? The Salvation Army is what the community needs it to be. And here in Spartanburg and in Union Counties, we're relying upon the individuals, what they bring in and what comes into our back door is what feeds our sales floor. And those sales we use to help the individuals that show up in our front door seven days a week. Um, so if someone wants to go ahead and donate, because hopefully they're moved by this this morning. Good morning to you. Wake up, and if you've got some stuff in your house that you know you want to get rid of, especially clothing, what should they do? How should they donate? We take it all. They show up here at 1529 John B. White Senior Boulevard. They pull around the back in the donation center. You just simply pull up and say, I need a little help, and we have some guys that will come running out to you. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Lieutenant Tate. I'm going to send it back to you guys in the uh we work in the studio. Send it back to you guys in the studio and we'll continue to talk about this clothing drive and kind of what else that they have here and what else that you can do to kind of help out. Uh, but for 7 News, Tatiana Cash, back to you. All right, Tatiana.